Here we're going to be learning a little bit more about fungus gnats. We see a zoomed in picture of one here. Okay, this is about three millimeters long, just to give an idea of the size of these fungus gnats. So often discovered when plants are moved, that jostled effect, you can kind of see them moving about at that point. Uh, the larvae is about two to four millimeters long and have translucent bodies and black heads. You see the image here. Uh, they also have the poor ability to fly, even though they do have some wings, uh, the poor ability to fly meaning they can't fly very long distances. Where to look, which is key for the identification for these, is inspecting the roots for dark spots. Uh, we can see the evidence of one right here, and two here, and one kind of over in this area, and a bunch kind of located here. They're commonly found in the growing media since they infest, infest plant roots close to the soil surface. So they don't dig down very far, they are close to that surface area, and that's important when looking to try to find these and identify if you do have these in your container or near your plants. The goal here to prevent them is to keep the surface as dry as you can to help reduce the pressure uh, on the plant. Now this can be after you plant. You could top dress with like perlite, sand, or rice hulls. These are all ways to kind of keep that surface very dry, which can really reduce and prevent uh, the fungus gnats from getting established. It can increase um, with numbers when plants are stressed by nutrients or excessive irrigation. So by overwatering or kind of overstressing the plants can be other ways you can encourage fungus gnats. Particularly that excessive irrigation, keeping that soil surface wet will inly hurt your plants uh, by both suffocating the roots, but also potentially increasing the fungus gnats population. Fungus gnats can also live on green algae that may be grown in media or containers, so important to keep that clean for a variety of reasons. Avoid excessive water in the media and the environment, as this only encourages a fungus gnat development. How to control them? Well, there's predatory mites uh, that can be an option. Uh, some feed on both the eggs and the larvae, which is a great one to select. Adults do not feed on the plant, and females can live to 200 eggs in the media in 7 to 10 days. Uh, Bt, or Bacillus thurn in Gensis can be applied to the media surface and is effective against the larvae, as we can see here. This is a leaf sample here. These are peanut leaves, but just shows you the example of the effectiveness of Bt. This is a n normal uh, peanut leaf. This is one that's been treated with Bt, and you could see the um, much reduced feeding activity on the ones treated with Bt from those that have not. You can see the mouth parts here with the fungus knots indicating they can be pretty aggressive feeders and really be very destructive uh, to your plants.